Hello everybody, welcome back to my I Review Your Stuff series. If you would like me to review your band or podcast or YouTube channel or graphic design portfolio or anything else, this is where I do that. And if you're interested, I offer this for all my patrons at the $10 and up level. The important part is that you tell me your goal because if I don't know your goal, then it's really hard for me to give you any specific feedback. But this episode is about Pull the Curtain. So this is a brand new band. Let me just read you uh, what he told me. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this one brief. I'm gonna summarize this here because, as you can see, it's long. Uh, my favorite bands are Sum 41, Fall Out Boy, Census Fail, Under Oath, Escape the Fate. I'm 23, just graduated, December 18, with a degree in MIS. Uh, I've had zero luck finding people to start a band with, so I had to learn how to write myself. I resorted to writing and recording everything I own because I was unable to find reliable members. Good plan. I recruited my brother for vocals and some of my friends to fill other spots. Excellent. That's very smart. Don't wait around for people, you know, the your ideal band members to come along. Just do it yourself, and eventually, hopefully, they will come along. If they don't, then you're cool. You can do it all on your own. My goals are to gain mainstream success for my music. I know that music isn't exactly the highest paying gig, but if it was simply about the money, I would just continue to advance in the company now. So that's his goal. I want to be like Fall Out Boy or My Chemical Romance. There isn't a soul alive that doesn't know the words to sugar we're going down. So mainstream success, that's his goal. As for my short-term goals, I've just launched the band this weekend. I'd like to quickly gain a following and everyone talking. I'm currently running a continuous ad on Facebook and Instagram for $5 daily. I would like to acquire at least 1,000 a thousand viewers, uh, followers on Facebook and Instagram within the month. I'm not sure if that's a realistic goal. I would also like at least 10,000 YouTube views on the Glass Bones music video. A friend of mine in Radiate said Google AdWords helped him gain 40,000 views on the video Human, so I plan on trying that. As for Spotify, I aim to get added to as many playlists as possible. I work full time. Touring doesn't sound like a huge possibility, so I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if it's necessary in all honesty. I hope to have a very strong online presence instead. So I love that you are specific with your goals. Uh, and I also love that you said, I don't know if touring is even necessary because I don't really think it is, not at the beginning anyway. I certainly don't think that going out and playing shows to 10 people who are barely even interested is a good use of your time. I think making content is a be much better use of your time. As for challenges, I find I'm having trouble at getting added to popular YouTube channels such as Dreambound or BVTV. I've decided to publish the music video on my own YouTube channel, build our own YouTube following instead, although this probably means we're going to reach less people. Um... I also worry about my age. I feel like my chances of finding mainstream success will disappear once I hit 25. Okay, so before I give you some feedback, let's look at what they have. So they've got a brand new Instagram account with uh, three posts on it. So this one is from August 19th. So this right now it is November 13th. So that was uh, September, October, three months ago. Another post... Uh, from August 25th of this girl. It says, see you soon. And then one from three days ago with uh, this promo photo. And a guy here that looks like Jeremy McKinnon. I would just tell everyone that's Jeremy McKinnon. <laughs> uh, and then same thing on Facebook. So it looks like we're you know pretty much uh, you know mirroring the content uh, from Instagram on Facebook, which is a good idea. And by the way, this here is the guy who is the band basically uh, i'm guessing that's his brother but i don't know so he's got a music video let's look at that <laughs> So this is him rocking out at his desk at home, showing off some of their influences. This, I think, is a really good idea. I think the pacing here is a little bit long. Like, this is an awesome idea for a segment because it tells, like, what you want to do is tell your audience where you're coming from so that the people who are coming from the same place as you will go, yes, that's my guy. He likes the same shit as me. So that's a great idea. I think the pacing here could just be quicker. Like, this whole shot could have been two seconds instead of, like, 15. See, we're at 35 seconds in here, and this is still going. Dude, I 
should start a band. Again, great idea. I love that you said, look, I'm inspired by it. That was Captain Jazz. Like, this is where I'm coming from. This is my inspiration for starting a band. Love that. It's always good to tell your story about why you're doing this. Same deal here, like the eyeliner, like this is all great stuff. Like you're basically just telling your audience this is a throwback to 2005, 2006, which like that is the perfect time to be doing this. I think it's a super strong concept for your band. Okay, but again, that could have been a lot shorter. You could have edit, cut that down to two seconds again. Dude. Why are you putting on eyeliner? Why aren't you putting on eyeliner? <laughs> That's a great line. Why aren't why are he said like why are you putting on eyeliner? And then he says, Why aren't you putting on eyeliner? That's awesome. Like you should make a social graphic out of that. Look, forget about that. We should start a band. What kind of band? An emo band. Let me make a call. Yo, dude, 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 what the fuck? I'm on the phone. No, not you, not you. Ah, uh, dude, we should start a band. Like, a band. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, like... This is good, too. Again, it could be shorter, but it's like a solid idea for a scene. We should actually do this. One thing you should work on is the audio, because it's kind of hard to understand what you guys are saying. And that's really important. Recording good audio is difficult, especially like outside, but I think you need to figure that out or else it's just kind of hard to hear. People are much more sensitive to audio quality than they are video quality. So it is annoying to get that shit right, but I think you should. Okay, so are you in? All right, bet. Dude. Then. So what are we gonna call this thing? Falling style. No. Dead on arrival. Early morning? Pull the curtain. Again, like Fallout Boy reference. Great idea. Love it. Pull the curtain. Pull the curtain. I like it. Sorry, I should have said this is not a music video, this is like the promo video, which is a cool idea. Great logo. This little clip of the song I think is cool. I might have put that at the beginning because that's going to kind of give people a preview of what they're like. You could put this at the beginning and the end because I think it's smart to play a clip first so that people know what the band sounds like. Then tell them a little bit about where the band is coming from and then play them the clip again because now that they understand where the band is coming from, they have some context and they're going to hear it in a different way than they did the first time. Okay, and here is the music video. I mean, my initial reaction is this is great. Like, it's maybe not the very best video of all time, but it's really good. Like, it's super solid. It has energy. Like, immediately there's people doing stuff that's kind of interesting to watch. No, like, long, drawn-out intro. Song sounds good, so I think you're on the right track. I think the music is actually really good. Like, it sounds like exactly what you're going for. Uh, cool melody, like, I think you did, I think that's great. 
Uh, the vocals, it's a little bit hard for me to hear. And I'm listening on these headphones. I don't know if that's just these headphones, if it's the mix, but the vocals feel a little bit too buried. And for this style, you said, you know, you reference like My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, that kind of thing. Like for this style, it is all about the vocals. So those need to be much more present. I would focus you know, 80% of your attention on vocal melodies and arrangement. I can't tell enough. I can't hear this well enough to tell you, you know, my opinion on, uh, on, on him as a singer, but I mean, it, it sounds decent at least. Maybe a little bit tuned. I, it's again, it's hard for me to hear, but, uh, it's definitely not bad. I like the guy in the gorilla suit. Like this kind of reminds me of the Chunk No Captain Chunk video. It's cool. Like maybe you could vary up the scenes a little bit, but this is fine. Like this is a, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because I'm guessing the video is more of this. Okay, I'm hearing some like uh, some harmonies there uh, in the background. Again, the vocals are mixed kind of quietly, but I'm hearing some harmonies there. That's cool. Like I would definitely, it's all about vocal arrangements. Study the vocal arrangements for Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance, especially like, you know, they're uh, like the uh, later, not not the, the like mid period, you know, uh, like under the cork tree and, you know, um, the fuck is the name of the one after that is uh but study that's a very good vocal arrangements on there and I, I would focus a lot on that yeah man i think this is good like there's nothing wrong with this there's i would say that the the vocal the vocal production could be better but there's nothing wrong with it like for a first song and a first music video this is fucking great like uh, i would say this is better than 90 percent of the stuff that gets sent to me i think this is you're off to a great start um let's look at the band photos and some other stuff here uh Cool. So it's a school. Like, this is really well done. Horsing around at school. Like, you guys have personality. These are good photos. You know, you've got a look. I mean, I feel like everything is here, you know? I think what you need to do is just keep doing this and be patient. I get the sense from reading your uh, note that you want things to happen quickly and that you want to use ads. You want to pay for ads as a way to do that. And you can try that. I hope it works for you, but usually it doesn't. The reason why is because all ads are doing, an ad is basically just paying for somebody's attention, like just to get it in front of somebody's face. But if they don't know you or know who you are or anything about you, it's probably not a good use of your money. Or like it, if somebody showed you an ad for some car brand you've never heard of, it's not going to make you buy the car, right? It's too soon. So I think what you need to do, I mean, again, keep, keep running ads if you want. Um, if it's only $5 a day, I guess there's no reason not to, but 
I think you need to just keep doing more of this. You definitely have like the right idea, like the look, the concept for the band, these photos, like everything that you sent me is really good. You just need to keep doing more of it. Get a little bit better every time. You definitely need to be posting like every single day. I like uh, I like this caption here, dust off your stud belt and grab your favorite bracelets. Like that's awesome. Again, like as many of these like throwback references as you can do, like I think that's super smart. Like basically just make this like a throwback band, I think. I mean, in the same way as Greta Van Fleet is like a throwback to Led Zeppelin, this is like a throwback to Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance. So I, I think what you're looking for is some sort of idea or hack or something that's going to make this happen really fast. And uh, I don't think that thing exists, or if it does, I don't know what it is. I think you just need to be patient. I mean, you, you've you got all the right ideas. Just keep doing it. You know, see where you are in six months or something like that, but do it post every day. That's important. you got to be super consistent. Uh, hashtags are a good idea. Commenting on other people's content is a good idea. Go follow smaller bands that you like that are kind of in your... Uh, in your sort of same genre, similar genre, not not Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance, like you'll just get lost in the noise there. But go follow a band like Grayscale, uh, and or uh, We Were Sharks or something like that. Follow them, comment on all their shit. They will notice you. Their followers will notice you, and it's going to happen slowly. It's going to be one or two or five followers a day, but that adds up, you know. And the and the and the beginning is the hardest part. So just get through that. The first year or two is going to be the hardest part, uh, but consistency is going to be the key. So hopefully that helps. I love what you're doing. I think it's a great idea. Like you are totally on the right track. You just got to keep doing it. So again, this is my I Review Your Stuff series. If you liked this, if you thought it was helpful, if it's something you would like me to do for your band or your podcast or your YouTube channel or anything like that, it's available for any of my patrons at the $10 and up level. So check that out and uh, I'll see you there.